if you own or plan to buy a CW C Star, you're gonna wanna see this. I've already tested it for a few weeks and I'll be out with my full review and test results, but I just can't keep this one to myself. Apparently, there's a whole hidden secret menu with a bunch of options uh, that's been now found and you can access it on your Android or on your iPhone and you can have access to all these extra features that are just not advertised and you, you don't know that you can do them. Now, I don't know if now that I put this video out, they're gonna maybe remove this. So in that case, maybe don't update the software yet if you wanna try it, but it's definitely interesting and it gives you a kind of idea of what direction uh, CWO is gonna go in in the development of this product. So let's take a look at this. So I have my C Star here, I'm gonna turn it on. And all we gotta do is connect to it from the phone. Let's connect, I will connect to it. And this is where the phone part starts. When I go into my C Star, just by clicking on the picture itself or the name of your C Star, this is all these basic options that you need. But this is where the phone part comes in. You just take a look at the top part here where it says my C Star, and you start tapping it. After like a couple, four or five times, you start seeing the experimental feature menu appear out of nowhere. And there you can have access to all these extra features. You can set up the preview exposure. If in your field of view, there's not many bright stars uh, that should help. Enhanced exposure. You can actually change the exposure time of the individual frames of the C-Star, which is something that we thought, I thought they might eventually enable, but like this, we can access it right away. Um, with the focal length that it has, it is very likely that we're not gonna have any issues with star trailing at 20 or 30 seconds, because anyway, it, it is tracking the sky. So the only concern is the rotation of the field. And I, I don't believe that would be an issue uh, at 30 seconds. Then we can have the option of saving all frames. We can have the showing of the stack number. So this is enabled by default, we can turn that off. We can show the track speed. And the coolest thing is that we can enable dithering. If you don't know what that is, what it does is between each X number of frames, it will move the sensor ever so slightly so that if you have um, differences in the readout noise and levels of your between your pixels, these will eventually cancel each other out. So you can enable dithering. You can say what well, the distance is. I would think that 50 is insane. I think I would set it to something like one. If um, I think 50 seems to be the minimum. I don't know what the unit is, but I suppose it would be pixels. Um, I believe that's a lot because we're gonna be taking 10, 20 second exposure. So if, if you move it by a hundred pixels each time, unless it moves back and forth, it would be a lot. But anyway, I will put it back to the default of 50 and then you can have an interval um, I think five when you're taking these uh, short exposures is probably little, I will set it to 10. Then we have three point calibration. I believe that must be similar to a three star calibration on a, a regular mount. And we can apply that calibrated value. What I expect is that the tracking of the image will be more accurate compared to just doing the, the plate solve because um, this way the mount can have an actual model of the sky. Then we have horizontal correction. I do not know what that is, but I fully plan to enable that. Um, I wonder if this would work in case you don't have your mount, uh, your C-star perfectly horizontal. I will be enabling, enabling that. Oh, it seems like you can have one or the other. I'm gonna go with the apply calibrated value for the three point calibration. Then you can have a look at the battery temperature and the sensor temperature. And finally, you have this Chinese writing that um, I looked it up with Google Translate and it just translates to uh, grid lines. So I think it would just show you the where you are in the celestial hemisphere that you're in. I'm gonna enable that as well. So I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna place the sea star outside and I'm gonna try it all out. You can already see what the Chinese scripture meaning grid lines meant. It just shows you these um, lines, which is very confusing because these are not coordinates, these are literally just grid lines. Um, so this probably just helps you maybe center something in the field of view. I think I'm gonna turn this off because it's really annoying. So I tried doing the three point calibration. Um, it took, it just said, um, wait for a minute until it finishes running. Uh, it did move uh, around the sky a little bit, but it was just a tiny bit, like a couple of degrees. Um, definitely not 
all around the sky like I would have expected it to. I suspect it's gonna help it track more accurately. Yeah, so this uh, correction thing doesn't seem to be working really well for me because all it does is make everything streaky. It's like, it's not tracking properly. Um, and then it just discards all the pictures because it can't stack them. I will turn it off now and I'll try some of the other features. So the most intriguing new feature has to be being able to set the exposure time. So I did this experiment here where at the top, there's 15 minutes of the Andromeda Galaxy in 10 second shots, and the bottom is 15 minutes in 30 second shots. And as you see them blink, you can see that the stars, as expected, are a little bit more contained in the shorter exposures. And here are the same two pictures. I've just done a really quick processing on them in the exact same way. Um, after deconvolution, the stars are not an issue, so if somebody is actually willing to go the way of processing the images in post, I definitely recommend doing the 30 second route because you'll just have a third as many files. Let me know if you end up trying out any of these new features and if you find any of them useful in any way.